right, here we go. Monkey Dash here again. Um, we're picking up where we left off. Was there some commentary? Oh, here was the exciting sailing scene. Oh, this was for the ship combat I worked so hard on. No, that was on Monkey <laughs> One. Yeah, that was yeah. on Monkey it One. It was not in Monkey That's One. Right, it was on the cutting room floor of Monkey One. Uh, so, so I think this is um, once you go and speak to Dread, you don't get to see this scene again. So it's a nice. Uh, I do like Dread Ship, even though it's the silliest wreck you've ever seen. Captain Quite Dread. Eventually did. I never liked his name. Captain Dread? That's a yeah. great name. I never liked his name. Captain Dread! It's, it's a great name. Scary. Oh, we did that as well, okay. Um, I'd like to cruise aim, but that means you just step outside for a bit. Uh, but I've already got the chow, so there's no point. Uh, I don't need to go back to Scab. What are my choices? <clears throat> you know how to get to three islands. Does it just do this until you click on the map? Alright, I want to go where I've done lots of scab. reference with the red line or isn't it really? Um right, so I swear this isn't the original this isn't the original soundtrack. It doesn't sound right. But then if you go to the the music's different, so it was supposed to be the original soundtrack, but it I'm misremembering it, but um I 
we can sell it back later as well. <laughs> All right, I'll need six million for that, which is going to come later.
just the part where the hand falls. <laughs> Dan. Look, we took the costume from the original game and painted it black. Yep. Same animation. It's that cost savings we had to do. The, the, the pattern that moves with the coat was like that's something that we did on the 2D games to save ourselves a lot of effort, but as soon as they started making them in 3D, then it became really hard. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, how do we replicate that effect? Oh, yes. 
Yes, and I want one that leaves the floor. Yeah, it's a good question. Why would she do that? Revenge. I don't know, I've only just noticed the little skulls with like bullet points. Fat Island then. I like that you can uh, get onto the red ship from the map. Thank you. 
thing I remember about G Governor Fat was just that he was way bigger on screen than characters that we generally did. It was like he a didn't small have to very much. He was like, yeah, just this yes. enormous. You could you could have lived inside him. He only actually. animated his like mouth or something. Yeah, just kind of a little jiggly thing. One thing that I, I liked, I always liked about Actually, Monkey Island really 1 and 2 was, was how you're kind of playing this game and almost when you think the game's over, it's like then kind of the real game starts. It's like you're spending all this time on Scab Island or on Melee Island and you think you're kind of completing the main objective of the game and then the whole game kind of opens up after that. I always like that. And all the uh, RTS elements huge. come into it at that point? Yeah. <laughs> and the first person shooter stuff. I don't know if people have discovered that. I always love yeah. this poster. Just, I love that. I always like to do that. In other, I always want to do that in other games. Like every game should have a poster that lists everything that you've done. Oh, all the bad things. All the bad yeah, things you've done. Stealing like, a monocle. In the voice of the character. In the voice of the. <laughs> See, we're obviously feeling bad about Guybrush's mm -hmm. crimes because we listed them here on this poster. We did that in in in, in Tales in the fourth episode, which is the the trial and execution of Guybrush Three. I've heard that's the you you get best one. Maybe the best one. Uh, but the, the funnest bit is you get put on trial and it lists out all the stuff that you did in the first episode. <laughs> all, all the things you're under arrest for then. Uh, Governor Fat was meant to be the uh, villain in the first game, but that got changed to the truck. And then Governor Fat got re jiggered to put in this one. Always really hard. It's always really hard, uh, you know, to design these puzzle things where he's confined in one room, because it's like everything on him, and you have to figure out how to do it, and all of and the it's solutions. And it's too hard. Are, it's just you're stuck in a you're tiny, stuck, tiny yeah. room. But if it's too easy, it's a gimme puzzle, and it's just not interesting. There's, there is something comforting about the fact that you know you can't go anywhere, so you know all your assets are right there. That there is some way out. Like you, it's it's never Unless like you're playing oh, a I didn't game. pick something up three rooms away. I've got to go get there. Right, without the without Sierra. the pencil. Yeah, like they say, some of the, uh, but even some of the LucasArts games did that. Zack McCracken. The f first time I played it, I didn't I wasn't using a walkthrough. I was trying to play it, and I got stuck on the bit where you're supposed to distract the woman on the plane with the um, egg in the microwave. And, um, you only get one chance because you've only got one egg and you can't get another egg and uh, I didn't know why I was distracted I, I figured out you blow the egg up in the microwave and she wanders off but I didn't know what I was distracting her from so I didn't pick up the thing while she was distracted and then she went back 
and then I couldn't do it again, so that was it. Game over. And it doesn't tell you game over, so I keep looking around like, oh, what have, what have I done wrong? So you just, yeah, oh, awful, awful. But I'm glad that um, now they know not to do that, and if you're stuck in a room, everything you need is available. Uh, this is obviously um, a very uh, Disney Pirates in the Caribbean uh, reference, Walt the Dog, Walt Disney, and this is like a recreation of a scene of Pirates in the Car Caribbean anyway, which is also recreated uh, in the movie, where they're all trying to get the attention of the dog with the key. This is also the big Pirates of the Caribbean ride ripoff yeah. moment, yeah. too. Yeah, we can't really complain about the, the movie ripping Stealing off the game when the game takes. They were just getting us back for this. Yeah, exactly. yeah. that's all it really was. And the dog's name Walt. Is he? Why was the dog's name Walt? Is that Purcell's not for dog. Walt Disney? No? Steve Purcell's dog was called Walt. I think that was oh, well, that was, that was probably named after Walt Disney. That is possible. Walt was, uh, I remember, kind of a mean little dog. He bit me once. Walt's dead. Don't make fun of Walt. Well, I like that oh, the dog like was named after Walt now. Disney. Let's just go with that. Okay. Yeah, that's the Swedish story. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, just a string shot. Um, yeah, and then you can quite easily leave without picking up your stuff if you don't notice these envelopes. Uh, so Manila's got you in it. Thank you. 
What's this room? I don't remember this room. Did they add this for the special edition? Is this the game where we put in the, the if this is three, then yeah, this? Yeah, uh -huh. that's, that was a mean, mean puzzle. I, I, I apologize <laughs> for that. That was that came from my family. Yeah, That was a trick. That was, my, that was a thing that game my brother played with me. This is two, then what's this? If this mm -hmm. is four, what's this? I remember we went round and around trying to find some clever thing to do that. Mm -hmm. I think that that door existed for quite a while without any real puzzle there. It was like one we... of those little insert puzzle here yeah, signs. Right. It was nice that we could actually do that on these games. Like, that's hard to do now to design a game and say, well, okay, here's a puzzle. We're just going to put something in later and we'll think of it, you know, two months from now while we're building in the middle think... of building the game. We'll write some different dialogue for it. <clears throat> yeah, dialogue recording, voice recording really. I think killed all that spontaneity that we had in Monkey 1 and Monkey 2. You just have to be spontaneous earlier. <laughs> you don't have as much time to right. be spontaneous. It's on the calendar. Spontaneity ends here. Right. Yeah, I remember, again, playing this first time. I was about 10 years old, and this puzzle oh, it took me so long. I was trying to figure out maths, equations, algebra, all sorts of just ridiculous, like, well, I don't understand, I don't understand how the number changes, I don't get it, but it's, like, once you get it, it is so simple. Right, yeah, that's, that's it. But, and you only get to see him do it once as well, so you can't keep watching him do it to, like, well, what is he doing? How does he get it? How does he get it? spend a lot in the shop and then come back with whatever's left. Yeah, I'm going to do all these on a different playthrough. I'm just going to kind of get through it a little bit. You have to get it right three times. Alright, so that is two, but I want to see what happens if you get it wrong. Okay, it tells you it's two. Okay, so that helps. So that's, oh, I'll get it right this time, so it's one, two more, so what was that, was that three? I didn't see if he had, how many he had up, um, and this was the thing as well, I was doing my algebra thing, I kept getting, uh, like, the first two, and I'm like, oh, I figured it out, so, and then you go to the third one and get it wrong, and, um, like, what, what happened to my system? Thank you. 
great because they give you all these options. Most of them are black. Which was so satisfying when I got it the first time. I have done it! I've finally done it! I'm gonna get my prize. the catalogue there's so many books in here um all right i know i need this and i want to sign up for a membership Excuse me. Alright, so don't use your name because you don't get as many books, although you only actually need two books or something, but just in case you wanted to be checking out lots of books and looking at them and reading them, don't don't, don't go by Guybrush. Go by either either one, doesn't matter. Um Sherlock Holmes, Prime Minister, oh, should know, and then that's the pri President of the US. 1060 West Addison, okay, that's embarrassing, but it's, it's, obviously it's a famous place. Um, I'll be Sherlock Holmes. And this, uh, this to me, like obviously he says 21, because you need to be to get the library card, but there's this one that's... Uh, almost says ninth so that this to me is like confirmation that, it, that Guybrush is 19 in this game text thing again. I don't know what have you got. I love this. <laughs> yes. Alright. Um, look at... I'm going to try and remember what I need. <clears throat> oh, no. I have to go through everything. Uh... Great shipwrecks, wasn't it? Something like that. Great shipwrecks. Gr gro. One of three puts worst. Okay, maybe it's not a shipwrecks. Ship shipwrecks. Shipwrecks. Ship, ship, shipwrecks. Ship building. Sea disaster. Okay, we're going to hunt around this catalog. Disaster. Great. Great. Well, how did I find great? 
Oh, it's under. It's here. All right. I just remember that. Um. Oh, and then you just want something random so you can swap it for uh, the other book that um, Governor Fat has. Okay, the library. Is it true, Dave? Did you write all the books that are in here? All of the book titles? I didn't. I, I did do a lot of them, but I remember we, uh, I think we, uh, we put out a call to, to all of the to, to everybody like uh, hey we need we need book titles and I think uh, Captain Trips actually wrote a large number of them no really some of them I didn't realize were references to other things in the game until I read them on like Monkey Island fan pages like there are all these little hidden clues yeah there's all kinds of references to stuff in there I mean one of mine references are fun yeah what was the one something about the ending something about LeChuck and the the, the fight that he had with uh, Guybrush there's a reference to that in the library. Hmm. What does the Chuck mm. say? It was a root of their fight as children, like some some embarrassing. Though. I don't know. Do you remember? In the remember last scene when when they're when they're kids and they're like we had this fight over something really trivial, and there's a reference to it in the library. When you think they're kids, you mean? Oh, when the robots before the robots right. are programmed to think that they're kids, right? Is mm -hmm. what I meant, yeah. and they don't realize that they're dead, right? And then the right. one kid, little boy can see dead people. Yeah. That Wait, part. what are they talking about? <laughs> okay, look at those references. Okay, let's actually. Yeah. Let's go it's Sherlock let's go Holmes. Through, let's go through all the oh, library cards. Yeah, can yeah. we look at Let's everyone. go through them all. And, Aren't there like 100? Or... What's 1060 West oh, Addison? Is that, um, that is the address of Wrigley Field Wrigley from Field. the Blues Wrigley Brothers. Field. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. It is, in fact, a, a, an explicit reference to a joke in which someone gives a false address. So, perfectly appropriate. Alright, let's find this uh, Le Chuck book, too. When I blew up LeChuck. Where I blew up LeChuck. Why I blew up. Well, maybe it's that one. Where was not that? Like, when? Let's go with when. I don't think you can remember any more books, so I'll go with that many. Oh, and she does the whole thing where she zooms around the library, which is um, it's quite fun, but uh, it takes ages. Okay, I need, I need this one. I'll use this one later. Yeah, you just have the chair thing. Hooray! Um, the books that I wrote, please. That's my limit. Oh no. What? Ah, uh, what? I thought I could have more. Alright. Why do I misremember the thing about the? I'm, I'm sure you could get an extra one out. Um, again, it's just so long since I played it last time. I don't know why I'm remembering something that's just wrong. Oh, the LucasArts logo. It's not that one then. Can I be bothered to go? No, I can't go through all of these. Let's uh, let's just 
Labyrinth, Language, Lice. There was no Luchuk in here then. Um, G for Ghost. Uh, we've done, yeah, Ghost is where we found it all to start with. Well, where's T for Threepwood? Three headed monkey, theatre. No, alright, ignore. Come back to this another time. I think we've got all we need here. For a long time, the characters were on scale in this room. The guy was like really tiny compared to this giant guy sitting at the end of the dock. <laughs> right. You have an amazing memory. I only remember the bad things. <laughs> the we, it was that, that way, way for a long, long time, time until someone pointed it out. It was like, that guy's three times as big as Guybrush. Yeah. Oh, the library. Didn't we, have to, we had to make like a special big Guybrush to go in the, in the room. Yeah, because we didn't have that kind of scaling. We could scale down, but we but couldn't not scale up. up. Yeah. Just turn into giant pixels anyway. But so, we had all those extra floppy disks, so <laughs> we could just... As much of that <laughs> stuff as we wanted. Yeah, it's scaled up garbage. Really good. Go straight into yeah, I'll take the bet. <laughs> Where'd you get the other one? Do you remember how we designed the puzzles for this on the whiteboard and we purposely did the thing that we later thought made it too hard, but we put every island on the top and every puzzle chain on the side and then we made sure that there was an object on every island that you needed for every puzzle chain so that if you wanted to solve any like long puzzle chain, you had to visit every, every single, single island. island yeah. So that's why like when you actually play this game, you have to go from island to island to island over and over and over again. I remember it. discussions talking about, was that too annoying for players to constantly going from island to island to island to solve things and you said i don't care i said 40 hours it's gonna be 40 <laughs> hours <laughs> they've already I bought think, it what do i care i think the phrase you used was player be damn <laughs> right that, that was more the catchphrase that's kind of my design philosophy really <laughs> nothing else on this island 
and I need as far as I remember. So I'm going to call it there. And then next time, maybe we'll be able to pick up um, some actual map pieces. Um, maybe even all four now, I've got the basic setup. So, yeah, until next time. <laughs>